That's how men operate. That's how we think. But, but See, I don't, I don't and, and, and I'm and I'm challenging you. I'm challenging this because there are going to be black women who are going to come on and say, "Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but we can't be like this because no other group of men thinks like this." It so is weak thinking. No, okay, so. no, it works. And if I'm not getting everybody, so what? I'm doing far better than the people telling their queens and goddesses. And you can't come tell me that if you moderated your message, you get about fifteen to twenty percent more. You can't say that. I could somebody could easily come along and say he could lose fifty percent. My golly, Kevin Samuels, who at it again. Oh, Mr. Tyrone, I just gotta get freaky for you because you love the hoes. <laughs> I don't care if they don't like me. I came here to stunt. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if they don't. What's good, everybody? If you're first time viewing my content of this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I came across a beautiful display of a conversation between Kevin Samuels. And, uh, we all, I don't know what his name is, but he's a beta, yeah. beta, 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 manhood hour. What is a man? So, uh, <laughs> Kevin Samuels sets this man straight off the back, off rip, um, uh, because he comes into the conversation with Kevin Samuels saying that he has a very uh, rude tone towards women. And you've probably heard this before, but we're going to get into it as we go along in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. I watch you every day, so you're doing a phenomenal job. I think you you really try to highlight, and I think a lot of the, the, the listeners that I've been listening to, they don't watch your show, so they're not familiar with your content. But my disagreement would be that I do feel that there should be a better way to bring the men and women together. Because from what I'm hearing, there's a lot of harshness coming um, in tone. And I don't think a lot of women are used to that because of the okay, society okay, we're okay. in. So your I'm disagreement sorry, is with my tone? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Then, then you go do it. Right. I respect that. I respect that. I no, no, no. He's right. I've had people, I can't tell you how many people have come in my DMs, have come in, ma in my comment section, and I, I'll never forget, like, back in 2021, I came with a lot of videos and content concerning accountability with black women and also accountability with black men concerning tapping into their divine masculinity. And when I tell you there was certain content, there were certain things that I would say about certain issues that concern us as a people... And women in my DMs, in my comment section, talking about, I thought you liked black women. I don't like how you said that. It was a great video, and, and I get what you're saying. It's a great message. But the delivery, though. Ew. I, I don't think you did a good delivery on that. I think... Did you see that topic that you spoke? I think you need to speak on these type of topics. Miss, then you do it. You grow the platform of 37,000 subscribers. You grow the platform where you're getting hundreds of thousands of views continuously. Back to back to back. And have 14,000 followers. People who consistently want to see you. You grow your Patreon to where you getting money, money because people want to see your information. You do this. This not to be, this ain't to be e uh, uh, arrogant or or big headed. But you can't come to the playing field and tell me how to play basketball, and you ain't never played basketball a day in your life. Let's continue. Um, I just feel that women aren't accustomed to the to men of, of, of that. Were you raised by your caliber. father? Yes. I'm asking because you keep talking about feeling, how you feel. I feel, yeah. I feel. That is a big trigger word, especially around men's content. Women talk about the, how they feel. Tell me about what you know and what you think. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, what I know is women have a very hard time with men that are as strong toned as you come across. So, um, they don't seem to receive that as, as well as someone with a softer tone. Really? Does it matter how they receive it? Or does it matter what they do about it? Whoo! Yeah. 
No, I got. That's a question I'm asking you. What what, yeah. what matters more? Cricket matters more. What they do, what they do with their well, information. I, oh, okay. I challenge you to go look at what some of my uh, detractors, people who tell women what they want to hear, and go find the amount of women who tell them, "You saved my marriage. I'm getting married because of you. You made me a better woman. I didn't like what you had to say, but now I'm better." Go look in their comment section. Go look at how many videos women have made to them, and come back and tell me how they rank 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 next to mine. You're right. Uh, why, I mean, my question is, as a black man, why are you coming in here making an emotional argument about tone when you when we got such a problem with our women? Well, I think I'm making that argument simply because more black women, they're listening to your content. I see more and more people having discussions. Outcome, well, let me let me reframe this. Why as a man are you giving me the emotional argument based upon outcomes? I don't really see that many out, that, that that much of a good outcome, honestly. Um, of, of who? For me or for them? Well, black women. I mean, I no, no. Black women. My that, tone, my tone aside, I'm getting outcomes. Yes. The people who tell them you're a queen and a goddess, are they getting women married? Going back to their husbands? Uh oh. Reframing how they look at men? Yikes! You say you follow my content, right? You're right. You're right. I, I, Who's I don't getting see... the outcome? You're you're getting more outcome. Okay. So as a man, outcome. how are you going to come to me as a man who's getting a better outcome and tell me about a tone? Well, simply because I just feel like I feel I feel. There you go with the feelings. <laughs> there goes the feelings. See, the uh, problem is when you say this, you weaken us. Yes. You sound soft saying this. But how was that? Cause Ooh. you sound like. Okay, a little, little sugar in his tank. What the men are gonna go back in the go look in the comment section after this video, and I feel, yes. I feel, I feel. I don't if if I'm getting a different outcome, which is a better outcome. Mm -hmm. Damn the tone! It's the outcome, and if you're saying you see the same outcome, why do you care so much about the tone? Because I don't think the majority of women are receiving what you're saying the right way. It's not way. for the majority of women. It's not for the majority. And the majority of women are being told they're queens and goddesses. And what is that doing for the majority of women? Listen, and let's, let's backtrack, right? When I go on my platform, right, and I talk about the divine Devi, the holy horn, all this type of stuff, right? It sounds good and it looks good, right? All the display of information that I provide that allows me to have the platform that I have. Great. You know what I'm saying? I display a lot of certain stuff for certain things concerning entertainment and a display of good information. Right. But a lot of people get so caught up in the entertainment. Oh, <laughs> peaches, <laughs> milk jugs. They get so caught up in the mundane things and the in the flashy things and, and what catches the attention what catches engagement that they don't even adhere to what's being told they don't even adhere to the information that i bring out right so when you're dealing with the basis of yeah you can be called a goddess yeah you can be called a queen you can you can you can be the daughter of ocean you can be the the reincarnation of ishtar all this type of stuff, right? You can wear all the attire, all the dresses. You can be photoshopped coming from the sky, from the heavens. But then when you put being a goddess to work. When you say that you are Ishtar and Isis and Alset and, and, and Yamea. But you don't want to do the things that Yamea and Oshun and Alset would do for a man. Now we have a problem. See, you can be as promiscuous as Ishtar, but one thing about Ishtar, she loves her men. You can you could be as promiscuous as Aphrodite, but one thing about Aphrodite, she's not going to go on social media and talk about how men are trash. You could be as 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 beautiful and sensual and, and erotic as Oshun, but one thing about Oshun, she loves her men. She loves Shango. She loves Ogun. So you can say you a queen and all this other type of stuff. You can, you know, do all this uh, uh, charades and, and you can role play on social media. Call yourself Goddess Heather 649 or whatever the case is. Whatever you want to call yourself. 
But if you don't put that to work, you're just no you're no better than all the other people on social media who are just displaying a persona. It is what it is. Let's continue. But if the majority of women are not receiving your content properly, if how can the majority you not- of women are being told they're queens and goddesses and your tens, what are the outcomes to that? Okay. This is our problem as black men right here. You want me to moderate my tone when it's getting a better outcome than the moderated tones. Mm. But but my point is, I don't think it's being received by women as well as it would be if it was a tad bit better. I'm not, trust me, I'm not saying to change your complete tone. That's not what I'm saying because I respect your your content. But but, but what you're making is a feelings-based argument. If you change your tone, then what? Okay, let's say it your way. If I change my tone, what percentage increase do you think I would get? I think you would get a lot more. What percentage increase do you think I would get? At least 15 to 20. At least a 15 or 20% increase. I don't think so. And you're basing that based on what? Just based off, once again, like you mentioned, my anecdotal. Right, just, right. People just. Right, right. You have nothing to base that on. Think of, I want you to sit there and ponder that. You want me to change what's getting outcomes, verifiable, and you're saying 15 to 20% based upon nothing. Literally nothing. And people who will come to you about delivery, you know, some people might be sincere, but for the most part, sometimes it's them that feel a type of way about how you're coming at a certain display of, of information or a certain display of topics or whatever the conversation may be is them that are projecting and saying, well, you know, it's the women. I think the women ain't really taking it how they're supposed. No, it's really you that ain't taking the information how it's supposed to. And Kevin Samuels called him out saying like he's soft, you know, and I've seen a lot of content from from Kevin Samuels. Most of the content that I've seen from Kevin Samuels, 95% of the time is very accurate. I'm not going to go through whether or not I agree with everything that, that he says and what needs to be said. That's a bunch of malarkey. I don't need to do all that, you know, and tell you that I don't agree with everything that he said just to, you know, give the man his props for displaying the information, you know. Anyways, this is very sad to see. <laughs> Let's continue. That's how men operate. That's how we think. But, See, I don't, I don't and, and, and I'm and I'm challenging you. I'm challenging this because there are going to be black women who are going to come on and say, "Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but we can't be like this because no other group of men thinks like this." It so is weak thinking. No, okay, so. no, it works. And if I'm not getting everybody, so what? I'm doing far better than the people telling them they're queens and goddesses. And you can't come tell me that if you moderated your message, you get about 15 to 20% more. You can't say that. I could. Somebody could easily come along and say he could lose 50%. But you have to understand, a lot of people may only watch your content, not because they're trying to better But do you their- understand that they could make the same argument? You could lose 50%. Based upon their anecdotal evidence, could they make, could someone do make the same argument? You could lose. True or false? I mean, that's true. You could always lose followers or lose. Well, so it's a counter argument. And what I'm saying is what you're saying doesn't make any, it's not rooted in anything other than your feelings. The reason I say that, okay, first of all, you just said I use the word feelings too much. So I was raised in the household with both my father and a mother. So my mother is a very strong-willed person. My father is an all, he's also a very strong-willed person. So, but he always taught me, you catch more flies with honey than vinegar or something along that line. But anyway, it's an old school term, but he always used that term. So he, he always trained me to say, there's a time and place to be very strong and stern. And there's a time and place to kind of fall back and use your softer side. And you're watching a platform with a man who's been on for a year. Yeah. Well, grown I think from, grown, that, grown from seven, grown years. from fifty thousand subscribers to almost a million. Yes. Who's a professional salesperson who is trained in what you're talking about? 
Monday through Friday, I do this. Yes, I agree. And you and actually you've been you don't think that and you don't think that I know the things you're talking about, but I also know as a salesperson and as a marketer and as a presenter, you need to people respond to authenticity and actual outcomes. But I understand it. I'm a marketing manager. I understand. Then if you are then what you're saying is not even make good business sense. You got to it's based in nothing. What I'm saying is not about business. What I'm saying is it's about relationships. It's about it is now, think about it, right? I'm not a marketing person, but what catches more of my attention and what, what might move me more to actually go and buy something is if something says, buy now, hurry and buy now, buy one, get one free, buy now, hurry up, hurry, all this type of stuff, right? Now, from his perspective, from, from old boy on the right, he might be like, that's a little rude to try and demand somebody to, take, to tell them to buy. Isn't that a little bit of a manipulation? What would you like for it to say? Could you please buy? Hey, hey you over there, could you, could you please come on and, and story along and, and give us a, f a couple of bucks? We'll, we'll give you a little deal. Hurry up, please. Could you please buy us? Could you please buy this? You're not going to get any type of sales with that type of rhetoric. There are different, I understand there's different type of languages concerning marketing as well. I've, I've learned this in, I took a, a marketing class back in college, but it's all about what's going to get more results. And personally, from my perspective, if you're more straightforward and as, you know, Mr. Kevin Samuel said, authentic, you're going to get the outcomes and it has shown. It's about business. You said getting more people is about increasing an outcome. It's no, business. But, but, it can be I, both. Okay, but I thought, honestly, I thought your content was about building the black community, building our community. It is, and who's getting a better outcome? Who's getting the better damn outcome? Is it Derek Jackson and Steve Harvey telling you queens and everything else? Or is it, or is it this? Have you seen any videos saying, I got my, my husband because of Derek Jackson. Derek Jackson yeah. saved my marriage. Steve Harvey did this. Have you seen any of those videos? Of course, I, I watch all that content. No, no, you've seen women come out and say, I found my husband listening to these guys, following this information. No, but they do follow that stuff. An awful I didn't lot. ask you, okay, have you he seen didn't. any videos saying that Kevin Samuels is the reason I married? They're, they're five on my channel right now. Yes, but they may not just produce that oh, stuff. Jesus. I mean, I, I understand that. You don't, you produce it. You produce results. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Somebody get the whip. Somebody get the whip. Lord have mercy. Rest in power to Kevin Samuels. This boy, this man right here was a lost case. Oh, wow. That's tragic. <laughs> y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video in the comment section below. This was very tragic to see concerning the basis. And, and like I've, I've came across a couple of men, you know, in my personal journey of being a content creator and, and stuff like that just concerning the basis of certain topics i might touch up on and i'm very straightforward and i'm very authentic with a lot of my statements and stuff and i try to think outside the box and be a voice of reason on my platform and i try my best not to lead people astray or deceived you know concerning the basis of a topic or whatever the case is right i do my best to be a voice of reason and you know by the certain doctrines and stuff that i live by um, I do my best to have my integrity on my shoulders, you know, something that people need to keep in mind. And one thing that, that I really appreciated about Kevin Sims is that he was always going to be authentic. He was always going to be straightforward. He was always going to have integrity with the way that he answered things and the way that he um, displayed things. Right. And that's something that you just can't you cannot have. Right. You cannot not have. Um. You can't go without those things and try and talk about the issues that concern the black community and specifically when dealing with black women. If you're dealing with a set of women who refuse to take accountability, a set of women, you know, these toxic women who refuse to hold themselves accountable, refuse to do better for themselves, refuse to actually find good men who refuse to do the necessary work within their soul, within their body, within their mind to actually 
change up what they find attractive in men to recognize the toxic the the toxic traits that they continue to pass on down from generation to generation to break that generational curse that cycle you can't be nice about it you can't sugarcoat it you can't cherry pick you can't cherry pick you have to come the same way that Kevin Samuels came with and for and for some of y'all who are Christians it tells you in the bible to to speak the truth like a sounding trumpet yeah but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video i will have the full video i will have the link to the full video link um in the description box below again rest in power to kevin samuels comment your thoughts upon the matters of this video at hand below